good day and welcome to my channel a channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy my name is Olo Dukonyedi and I'm your host I want to say big thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel and also those who have joined in my community I want to say big thank you to you all and if you are here to join the community, please hit that join button to become member of the community. And from now on, any free resource will be placed inside the community for the members of the community to have access to any of our free materials. And also we'll be having a one-on-one -on -one discussion on any topic that um, they introduce or they want us to talk about. We we have a one-on-one -on -one time with them and also there is a category of this um, of this community that can send their project down and will work together in that project. So once again, I say thank you all for joining the community and those who are subscribed, we say thank you. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please hit that um, subscribe button and we'll be glad to have you. Thank you. So we have um, a subscriber asking that his Orion program does not do secondary beam. Secondary beam. I have not used Orion for a very long time, but I think Orion Prota is just an advanced Orion software. So what Prota can do, I believe uh, Orion can also do it. So um, this is just uh, the explanation I give is based on how your model is. So let's assume this is our beam model, our beam model. Mm -hmm. our beam model let's assume this is our beam model here yeah. so uh, for you to create a secondary beam it means your beam will be resting on another beam another beam will be carrying it let's assume there is a beam at the mid span here from here to here is 4000 millimeters or 4000 4, so the first thing we need to do is to create a grid a grid line um, we'll create our grid lines so if we've done that we just need to take um, we can either click on beam or just right click on the highlight the beam right click and take on property same thing but it's quicker so what we do now is to click on this material uh, automatically it becomes a a secondary beam on it then if we move it this way it will ask us new beam crossing over other beams do you want to split the new beam at support span you say yes it will do that so automatically you have created your your secondary beams so we can easily just create our slab let's make our slab 150 150 uh, loading we can say uh, room right click let's say general I will we'll do that this becomes when you run your analysis it will run it as a secondary beam so uh, if if you can try this on your Orion and you still have the issue please uh, let me know about it if you are still having issues about about that please let me know uh, i think we'll stop here but if you still have any other issue please check our previous videos on how to model 
the structure but with this you can take care of your secondary beam loading thank you very much so um once again i said if you've not subscribed to this channel please hit that subscribe button and if you are a subscribed um, um if you are a subscriber to this channel and you're still not join our community it's a much more intimate uh, inter interactive um, community that there are lots of benefits when you become a member of that community you have a top priority of your 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 questions be answered and you get a lot of materials when you join the community so i'm expecting you guys till we meet again remain blessed thanks